Uh, good afternoon. My name is Al Thompson, uh, sports writer from the Philadelphia area, and I'm also the founder of a nonprofit called Poise, Protect Our Youth from Steroids. Talking to you today about a disturbing thing I saw last night on HBO. Uh, there's Real Sports with Brian Gumbel, and in this segment it was with uh, Mary uh, Carrillo. It was a, just to be honest with you, it was a disgrace. It was a piece she did on uh, the World's Strongest Man. World's Strongest Man is, uh, is owned by IMG. It's a strong man show. Uh, IMG, like I said, owns it. Maria Carrillo has had ties with this company for decades. Uh, they managed her. She was a pro tennis player. She knows better than to do what she did. She did a segment on them, which fine. But at the end of the segment with Brian Gumbel, they literally lied to the public about steroid use. They didn't even ask them. Uh, Brian Gumbel asked her about why you know these guys are 400 pounds and. Uh, you know, each and it's incredibly strong and, you know, usually people would think about pharmaceuticals, he says. And she says, oh, they said they passed all their tests. Hmm. Why don't you ask them on camera like ESPN did with Hathor Bjornsson a couple of years ago and let him answer it? He said, yeah, I do steroids. And he's on the show with them, or has been. So there is no, there is no gray area in here. World's Strongest Man competitors use steroids. Just be honest about it. But they couldn't do it because the World's Strongest Man taping is next month in Myrtle Beach. Where I spent, two weeks ago, I spent with 600 high school students telling them to, be, to warn them about the World's Strongest Man and the Arnold and other, and other steroid events like pro wrestling or whatever, and telling them that they were on their own. The corporate media will lie to them. And look, here we are. HBO, Real Sports, blatantly told a falsehood to these kids across America. It's a disgrace. Um, we also, uh, uh, told, I, I called up there, um, Stephen Lorenzo called up the producer and said that, are you aware that the world's strongest man, we're trying to link it with uh, the Rechengoff Anti-Doping Act. It's in violation of that new federal law. In this country now, sports doping at international athletic activities is an act of felony fraud. It's an international event, world's strongest man, and it checks off all the boxes for PEDs, steroids, sports doping. So... I just wanted to, to put it out there. Um, you know, there, obviously we're having an impact. Um, there are people in Myrtle Beach who I know don't want this show to happen. And maybe that got back to IMG and they felt necessary for them to, to put this nonsense out last night. But be careful. Just like I told those kids at the high school in Myrtle Beach and high schools around here in the Delaware Valley, you are on your own. You will be lied to. You will be, will be recruited by, by the people who want you to buy steroids. It's terrible to say this, but it's true. It was never more evident than it was this week with Mary Carrillo, uh, with uh, Bri uh, Brian Cumble on Real Sports on HBO, an embarrassment. But that's it for now. My name's Al Thompson, and thank you. Good night.